This is the Narrowboat Review for December the 7th, episode number 9. And this is your Narrowboat Reviewer, Jack Byer. Uh, a lot of vloggers out there are still experiencing COVID-19 syndrome in that they're stuck in the marina, they haven't gotten out yet, and we have a dearth of vlogs that are cruising vlogs. A lot of uh, vlogs of towpath walks and a lot of vlogs of cooking and so forth. Bear with them. Pretty soon they'll be on the cut and we'll have some great cruising videos again. But meanwhile, let's get to today's offerings. First up is Benjamin Vintage Finds. This is Lizzie. She's on a narrow boat in France. Uh, she responds to your comments from the last videos and opens up and says that she's very touched and she intends to get closer to you, which she goes about doing in this vlog. Uh, very open stuff about her, her early life, and I'm going to put that clip up in a second. But first, I just want you to know that, you know, she is a single female boater and she has some perilous times. Uh, on the cut by herself, and uh, she talks about them in this vlog. But let me put that clip up. Hold on a second. Well, I guess I can tell you a bit about myself, the general stuff. So my name, well, everyone calls me Lizzie, but obviously my real name is Elizabeth. Uh, I speak English because my family is English, but I was born in France, so I speak French as well. I was actually born in the, this town where I'm moored. My parents decided to move to France to start this boating business, what, like almost 30 years ago now, and I have been around boats literally my entire life. I used to live in a lock house when I was younger, um, obviously not really narrow boats because they are an English boat, not a French boat, so you don't see many of these. The boat was moored here and had been moored here for a little while now, um, and well ever since they bought it, which is over 10 years ago now. It's always been here. And yeah, it's just been sitting here, in actually in this area, in this place where it is, for a long time. And basically we just, my dad went on to it. He thought it was lovely. It was a shame that it wasn't getting used. So we tried to find the owner. Uh, sadly, the owner pa had passed away and his wife was just basically paying for the mooring, but if the boat wasn't being used, her sons or his sons, I'm not sure quite the story behind that, um, weren't interested at all in, in Benjamin, um, so ended up selling it to us. In Narrowboat Life un Unlocked, uh, Anthony and Paul are in lockdown in the marina, and they it looks like they'll be in the marina until January. Uh, the vlog starts off a very gloomy, muddy day on the towpath, and uh, Paul is out walking the dog, and it looks like uh, he's got the lockdown blues. Uh, you know, you know, the thing that really stands out on these vlogs by Paul and Anthony is the artwork and the camaraderie between the two, or the love between these two men, and uh, it didn't come through this time. And, you know, I love the heck out of their vlogs. They're, they're, they're some of my absolute favorite vloggers, but this one just wasn't up to their standards. However, the photography was still there. Let me show you some clips. I love Paul's photography. This one could be my Christmas card this year. I feel bad about being negative because they are my some of my favorite vloggers. 
space is always at a premium on a narrow boat. And this week, uh, on Shell, Chris and Shell, Shell uses the Marie Kondo method to shrink things down that she puts in her normal dresser drawers. Uh, I'm kind of upset with you, Shell. My wife walked in while I was watching this, and she became enraptured by what you were doing. And now she wants me to spend the rest of my day refolding all my clothes. Thanks. Merry Christmas. In uh, today's version uh, of The Narrowboat Chef, Maggie and Ryan tell you all about their new cookbook called Winter Warmers. It's available on Amazon and paperback, and it's also available on the Kindle. You know, if you bought a copy, that would make a great Christmas present for someone. But I wonder how you could get it autographed. We're on the move is busy cruising again. And uh, even though she has a bum leg, she's out there cranking up those locks. Why don't you join them? They're a charming, entertaining couple, and it's a very enjoyable cruise. In the narrow boat that James built, <laughs> I guess he only put out one vlog today. That's amazing. He normally puts out a lot. Well, in this one, he's doing planning. He's not doing so much construction work. And if you want to be in on the planning, you're going to have to watch his vlog. It's always useful for those people that intend to do a build-out or a remodel. Today's minimalist vlog, and I love the, that vlog, uh, is another good one. It's a recap of a cruise they took last August. They've got a lot of film in the can. And during this lockdown, they're bringing out the uh, stuff they haven't put up yet, and they're entertaining us with it. Uh, they're in Manchester. They're going to cruise down the Rochdale Canal again, and uh, they're going to go towards the Rochdale. Um, it's a typical, they have typical dramas along the way, and they meet and they conquer them with good humor and perseverance, which happens to be the name of their boat. And again, they enlist Mike. They're... Uh, Stand by Lockie, and uh, he comes out and helps them down the locks. It's an interesting good time. You might want to watch it. Here's an excerpt from it. And by the way, before we get to the clip, uh, I just want to remind you all that her maps that she makes, that uh, Joe makes, are excellent Christmas gifts. You can get information on them on the bottom of their vlog. Um, so Michael went ahead to set the lock, and then I hear on the radio something like... I've lost the boat or something. Yeah, so the first thing I call back on the walkie-talkie is there's no actual lock landing. On the left-hand side, there's one bollard right beside a quite heavy outflow. So I was like, okay, I don't want to go over there. On the right-hand side, there's just a bunch of bushes. Well, as I pull further forward, I realize that in fact, there are there is a bollard right near the lock, and then there are two eight by eight wooden posts that are painted white on the top. They're very obscured by all of the, the um, plants that are growing there. Is George eating out of the yeah. wheel? Okay, well that's fine, it's rainwater. So so I'm like, okay, there's a lot of plants, but I'll be able to get the boat in, the back end of the boat over, get the stern near enough where I can jump off, and then I'll be able to tie up to one of these posts, go to the lock. Hey, no problem. So that's exactly what I do. I pull over to the side, I call back and I'm like, uh, Joe, I gotta make a bit of a jump here because I can't get close enough. So she's like, be safe. And I'm like, okay, fine. I jump over, make it off to the side, Tie it up nice and tight to the to the top of this big wooden post. There's a notch in there that I can wrap the rope, rope around and tie it on. And I go up and I and I get to the lock and and you know it's anti-vandal key and start opening the first one. And um, no problem. Lots of water coming out. Go over to the second one. Start opening it. And I hear this fuck noise. And I'm like, what makes a fuck? Like that is a weird noise. And what makes that noise? So I'm just looking around like, what the heck was that? So I look over and I see that our boat is rapidly accelerating towards the lock, dragging behind it an eight by eight post that it's just torn off at the base. So this, this post is going bunk, 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 down the towpath as it is heading very quickly towards the, the plants and the, and the drop off into the canal. And there's... In never more than four, you get to see the new paint job and you get to see the name of the boat painted on the front. If you want to know what that name is, 
you're gonna have to just watch it. Uh, anyway, it's a fun vlog, it's a fun looking boat, and you're not gonna miss it if it comes down the cut towards you. Morning. Today's the first day that I've seen the boat without the scaffolding on, and it's really bright. Um, so I'm gonna show you. The colours really glow, even on this, which is a really grey day. The colours just pop. In the narrow boat Florence Rose, Rob is, you know, he's got to move even though it's raining. He's got to beat some seasonal closures. Uh, as usual, his cruise, uh, you see it from a stern camera over the roof. He does have some audio issues, which he does apologize for. Most of it's wind, um, but there is also a little motor noise. Good chatty trip, and even though it's raining, you might want to join him on this cruise. Love, Life, and Triumph put out a good video this time. Uh, this is the Bonnevilles, and they've got some brand new gear that they show you uh, they're really excited about their gimbal, and you can see that they, they've got a learning curve to get up, but they seem to be managing it. They take you on a walk down to uh, Tutbury, and it's an interesting walk, but he calls some cows bison. Uh, bison is a word for buffalo. And those weren't buffalo. <laughs> well, at the end of the vlog, you get to see their Christian, their Christmas decor, and it's a it's a fun walk through the, a rather soggy background. On Charlie and Lauren, they also are celebrating Christmas, and this vlog is about them decorating their narrow boat. They borrow some ornaments and Christmas decorations from their family and then they go to the store buy some and they put them up and you watch the vlog and you'll get to see what their boat looks like at Christmas well that's the end of this review folks I hope you enjoyed it please put a uh, click on the light thumbs up button and leave your comments I'd love to hear them even if they may be not positive <laughs> Also, subscribe. It is absolutely free. So this is Jack Byer, and I am signing off with a Merry Christmas.